another tutorial by IT Interface. Today we're going to talk about how to download Zone Alarm Firewall free version and go over some basic functions. Alright, first you need to make sure you're connected to the internet and then go ahead and open up your favorite web browser. If Google isn't your home page, go ahead and navigate to it and type in Zone Alarm free download. The link you're going to be looking for is download.cnet.com forward slash zone alarm. The reason why I like because they test it for spyware and adware. Make sure it's free of all that stuff. And here's the results of that test if you're interested. So let's go ahead and download it. You can either click on run and it'll install, or you can click on save and save it to your PC and click on the executable at a later time to install it and you need to be connected to the internet when you do so. Once you have it installed let's go ahead and open up the application. Overview is the first tab. Notice that it's in good standing with the green check. Product information, version, uh, 15 day trial, license, licensing information is located in here. Preference is what I want you to get familiar with. By default, when you install this, it will check for updates automatically. Here is a manual way to check up. Is that button right there? That tab, program control. You need to click on programs. Get familiar with this because Zone Alarm free version and paid version is a very tedious thing. And let me go ahead and show you an example of what I'm talking about. It trains you, I think, on what's connecting to your computer and what you're connecting out of your computer with. See how this pops up? If you deny it, Opera Internet Browsing is not going to connect to the internet because you blocked it. So I'm going to allow it. And that's what your firewall does. If you click on something and then you accidentally deny it and all of a sudden the application doesn't work. It won't connect to the internet. It won't, it won't do its basic functions that it did before you installed Zone Alarm. It's not because Zone Alarm is a bad thing. It's because you denied it. Let's go ahead and it open up again. And notice in here what a denied looks like right there it's blocking the program from accessing or getting to the server so it's not going to work so if you allow it it'll connect no fear on that pop-up window please there is a setting so it doesn't happen all the time if you know that you're that this application is going to connect to the internet and you trust it remember the setting and allow it you won't see it anymore see with that being said guys that works both ways it also blocks intrusions that's what a firewall is all about it's going to pop up a window and said someone trying to block try to enter your computer and it blocked it it's going to give you a button to say okay then you say thank you if you'd like to but that's what this is all about blocking someone trying to get into your computer. Hope it helped. Have a good day.